Hi, I'm Travel Grandma. I hope that this video does not end up seeming a little bit jumbled up. So what I did was I started to film the food that I was packing for my trip. So I got all the dry foods in my cabinets filmed and then it started getting dark. So I couldn't finish the filming then. The following day, I put all my refrigerated and frozen foods in my refrigerator freezer. So there's that section. And then my husband was trying to get my e-bike to work. I had charged it and I charged it one time before, but I never got a chance to use it. So the charge didn't hold, which I was a little disappointed about because it had only been about two weeks. But because of the rain, I wasn't able to try it out or use it. So we couldn't get it to work this morning. So I called Costco and I said, can I just switch it out? So they said, yeah, sure. No problem. You'll have to just return it and rebuy it. And they happened to have some in stock. So this afternoon on my way to the campground that I'm having a meetup at, I stopped at Costco, brought the bike back and bought another one. I thought, well, you know what, since I'm here, let me get a few groceries. I had it pretty well stocked, but I wanted to get some lettuce and um, I wanted to look at their dried fruit. So that's in not in this video. It's in the video that I posted earlier today. So I'm going to put a link up here so you can watch that video. If you want to watch that video first, it's... Um, not landscape mode so it's portrait mode so it's going to look a little bit differently otherwise i would put portions of that in here but i think that would look kind of weird i thought well they're going to want to see where i put all that food so i'll put that in this video too so you're getting a whole food tour um of my van in this video i hope you enjoy it if you have any questions leave them in the comments below in the cabinet on the left, I have um, some soups, and I did, uh, actually, I've had these since my last trip. I haven't used them, but I also went to the store, and I got some muffin mix. Now, I probably won't make that myself. Maybe if I'm camping and somebody has an oven to use, I'll use that, but I have um, some Vidal here um, and some other pasta, some brown rice, instant brown rice. I like to kind of keep things organized. Oh. Got some of the seasoning here. As far as my other seasonings, I keep my main ones up here by the water jug. I also think this would be a good place to put these um, uh, tuna and salmon packets. I really like these for a protein. I got a bunch of those, so I'll put those in there. And some potatoes. Got some packets here. One of these, so. Alright, got that done. I love how these just like automatically close and they never come apart so that is great then on this side here let's see what I've gotten here so far oh, I've got some tomatoes I love using the tomatoes you know being an Italian you use a lot of tomatoes I've got some refried beans I love anchovies when I make pizza um, some peanut butter let's see what else I bought at the store that I can fill this up with now so what I've decided to do instead of getting breads is I'm going to start using these rice cakes. Last time on my trip I used tortillas and I will still get some tortillas. Um, I didn't happen to buy them at the store yesterday but I'll still get those because I do like to use the pizza and it's like it's kind of for me it's kind of like controlled bread because um, I'm not going to make a sandwich with these. 
Then I got a couple different flavors for some snacks. It's got to have your snacks. got to have fun. So I got an apple one, and I think I got a caramel one, too. Let me see. I got a caramel one, too. So these are not going to fit in here very well. I think I'm going to have to put them um, up top there. So oh, I've got some um, sugar-free Jello. That'll be like a little sweet treat here. Oh, I've got some cinnamon sauce package from different places. So that'll go in there. So that's pretty much it for here, I think. And um, let's move on to another area. Now down here underneath my bed and where I have my refrigerator here, See, there's like a little space there where I can put some things that um, I'm actually going to be taking to a meetup. I'm going to be making some pancakes for everyone. Well, let me show you this. I extend my bed a little bit because I find that the top, I usually have my head there. I found that I need a little bit more room in the shoulder area than I do in my feet. I'll show you more of this about my bed and the build um, in when I do my van tour which is a long time coming I know but I just haven't got to it yet I want to show you how uh, you know I constructed the top and how I finished it off and everything I'll show you that in my van tour video this one's just going to be about packing my food okay so then I have this container and it has handles on it it's really nice I got it actually for um, when I was doing um, clay sculpting. Um, they were selling it at the uh, studio and I bought it because it had all these nice pockets and stuff in it. But anyway, I fill this up with um, some utensils. My utensils are actually kept for the most part right there. And whatever, anything else I need. So I can just keep this outside in my campground. Um, and not have to come in and out of my van all the time. Or, I could actually cook on here from the outside. Uh, like again, again I'll, sh I'll show you all that later on. But let me show you the rest of my food and a little bit about my kitchen setup. Got my trash back in there. So I have my stove here and I have two stoves. One of them is stored down underneath my garage, and one I keep here to cook indoors. I can easily move this to outdoors as well if I need two burners, but they're each one burner. This one's a little bit smaller than the other one that I have. So I keep, and then I, you know, I don't cook there. I, I pull it out here away from everything to um, cook on. Um, then I bought, I just bought the, oh, I have a really good knife. Oh my God. I got this knife at Target for $10 so long ago. It is the best knife. And see how the blade goes all the way through the handle? This is such a nice knife for the price. So it's my go-to knife and I just love it. I, I keep it down in there because I don't want it flying everywhere. I just bought these bowls. I got just one bowl. I just need one for myself. Then I bought a plate. So I don't have to use paper plates all the time. So I did get some plates. And there's some paper plates there. And then I have um, some regular cups. I love this smiley face one. <laughs> and um, some paper cups. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, oh my Happy Camper Cup. Um, one of my friends gave that to me. <gasps> Thank you very much. I love it. And then I got this cup from another friend. This is cute too. My water container is back here. It's the same one I've always had. I usually keep it... Uh, this is five gallon. I usually keep it right about to here so when I drive it doesn't like splash all over the place. And then for my paper towels, what I want to do is get a paper towel um, holder and just like maybe, well, maybe that might not be a good place. Put it somewhere over here, maybe here or something. 
to where I can, I don't know. I'll just keep it there for now. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to work on that one. But I've got some um, window coverings here. And I did, um, it's black on this side. And then I covered the silver side with some um, fabric, which I think looks kind of nice. And I have another idea, though, which I might try before I leave if I have time. But let me show you the rest of my food since this is a food video. So above my kitchen, I have some bulky food items that, you know, I can't fit all these down below. So I have some space up here. This is more like storage. I don't use them all the time. Um, but it's a good place to have them. And then I've got some cereal, cereal box here. That's um, an extra box that I happen to pick up. Because all of my breakfast stuff, cereals and things like that, granola, oatmeal, are in this bin here. In this bin here, I keep my coffee items. And that reminds me I need to refill that coffee. I'll take that inside and fill it up before I go. Oh, and I've got, I've got one of these. Liz, the gadget queen, showed me how to use one of these for um, a drip coffee. Basically, you just put this on top of any cup. I can even use it on top of this um, thermos. Um, it works really good. You just put the coffee in there with a the filter and it just drips out. It's, it's really good. So thank you, Liz, the Gadget Queen, for showing me that trick. And I have some um, mixing bowls. One or two little storage bowls there. And I have two pots. So I have a frying pan or a skillet and a pot, a small size. I have a spatula, you know, kitchen. I don't keep a lot of things. I'm not a gadget person. And I have um, this scoop here. I don't. I don't really need this. I don't think. I don't, I don't, I don't want that one. I'm taking that out. Purging. <laughs> taking out what I don't need. Takes up too much room. And then I've got um, in this um, spray bottle. I have soap. And things to uh, wash dishes with and I have a little pan um, to be able to do that I have that down in my garage so I'll show you there also down in my garage is a large frying pan that um, I take with me when I'm gonna have the meetup because um, I can fit a lot of pancakes there and lastly as far as my dry goods I have some um, protein powder. I love having something hot sometimes instead of coffee and I usually make like a, it's chocolate flavored so I usually make like a chocolate flavored um, drink. This is my garage down in here. Oops. So this is just extra stuff down here. So I have another stove and it goes down in here. I'm gonna show you my garage and my whole entire van build and all that stuff in another video I just want to do food today last minute Costco trip so while I was here I figured well I'll just do a Costco haul here so I got some um, salads and avocados and some fruit and there's been a lot of talk about dry fruit and stuff lately well if you look at the ingredients they do have ones without added sugar so here's the thing with me I do not like to go shopping for just one or two things when I go grocery shopping especially I like to do large hauls because I just don't like to go to the grocery store so I put my apples there and oranges here because there's right now there's no place to put them but as I start eating that stuff I'll um, move it around this is an insulated bag and what I do is when I take things from my freezer I put them in this insulated bag so all of the lettuce 
and things that I bought at Costco that needed refrigeration. You know, my snap peas. I put in here. And I put two frozen water bottles. So this will all stay cold. So now let me hop inside and show you where I put my dried fruit. Then over here, I have my other um, produce. So I have my tomatoes and my avocados I put in this cute little basket. And I had brought the these bananas from home. So now, ta-da! So here's all my dry foods. I am debating on whether I want to keep this or whether I want to just continue to have, and I have more of this, continue to just have my bland, um, kind of boring, um, just material like that. So do you like it like that? Or would this look cool all around? This... Just having this kind of like a little little curtain I don't know I kind of like that because I have the back of my reflectix with that same material so do you like it like that right here or do you like this because so this is just tucked in it's not even attached. So what I'm thinking is, when I get bored with this, you know how, how I get bored. So maybe instead of changing my van around all the time, maybe I just change this material and I'll have a new look. I can do it like seasonally. Like I can put maybe daisers or something this summer. That would look kind of cool. Anyway, leave me a comment in the description. Um, Tell me which way that you like better. Do you like it like this? Or do you like this? I think this is really feminine. Anyway, let me show you my refrigerator. So I happen to have a refrigerator freezer. The large portion I use as a freezer. And on the bottom, I like um, Liz, the gadget queen. I like her system of putting water bottles on the bottom. So I've lined the bottom with water bottles. Then I have, put this here. I have uh, frozen fruit, a couple bags of that. I've got some meat. I mostly eat chicken, but here's a little bit of beef here too. And this is noisy. <laughs> so this is cut really thin. And I love to make cutlets, um, breaded cutlets out of this, but I don't know how I'll make it on my trip. But I just have all different kinds of vegetables, mostly vegetables, and I'm not vegetarian. I do eat meat, so here's some cut up chicken too, and more vegetable. This is like so deep, it's like, I think it's a 48 quart, but under this... I've got water bottles, so it's, I love this refrigerator, but like I said in the other video, the reason that I like packing a lot of food is because I hate going to the grocery store. I just want to have everything I want, so I do not have to stop and go to the grocery store. I want to have my own grocery store. It's like I like the big refrigerator. And it fits so nicely underneath my bed. Then I have... This is the refrigerator section. So, like I showed you in the green bag, which when I put my bike there, I'll probably store it right here. That's where I usually keep it. It'll either go in there 
or in my refrigerator once I empty this out. But I mostly just have like yogurt, plain Greek yogurt. There's my eggs. This is like a probiotic. Yeah, that's that's my refrigerator. I don't need a lot of refrigerator things because I'll freeze it first and then as I use it, I'll just thaw it. And that's my system. So that's the refrigerator. Now, you are ready to see. I want to show you one more thing about my kitchen that just arrived from Amazon before I left. So I'm happy about that. Uh, let me show you. I bought a tea kettle because I thought, you know, <laughs> why am I struggling? Well, not really struggling, but why am I using a little tiny pot to try and put hot water in for my coffee in the morning into, you know, a little coffee cup? I mean, it's not the easiest thing to do from a small little pot so i thought you know what instead of getting a pot that they're not cheap and i i've bought two so far that have the little spout on them well they bend they're just not sturdy so i ended up returning um one of them anyway so i thought what about a tea kettle so i thought that's a perfect idea so i Bought a tea kettle specifically for my hot water for coffee or tea or whatever I want to, you know, make hot water for oatmeal or... So this is like, why didn't I do this a long time ago? Ah! You know, sometimes if you haven't seen the one that I posted earlier today where I was doing my Costco haul, if you want to watch that whole video, I'm going to put the link up in here. I think what I got is going to last a long time, especially the dried fruit and um, the freezer. The, that'll stay frozen for a long time. And then as I use things, you know, if I need it, I can replenish. But I do not like going to the grocery store too often. Maybe for some fresh fruit. I'd rather stop at a farmer's market things like that but I just want to have a stocked kitchen whatever I want to eat it's there so I'll have to stop and probably get some more meat although I don't eat a lot of meat I mean and I've got that salmon and tuna and stuff too so we'll see I hope you enjoy it if you have any questions leave them in the comments below so I'm going to end this now and um if you haven't subscribed to me yet, I would love for you to do that. I'm trying to get to my 10,000 uh, subscribers by this month, so help me out there. And if you liked this video and you got some value out of it, I would love a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you down the road. Speaking of down the road, check out Nomads Down the Road it's a website it's like a forum website and we'd love to have you connect with me other youtube creators and just some really great folks i i hope to see you there bye now have a good night or morning or whenever you watch this